Brought to you by the Bose A20 Aviation Headset, their most advanced pilot headset ever, and by XMWX Satellite Weather. Never fly blind again. Aspen Avionics Evolution System replaces the traditional analog gauges with high-tech glass. Now they've connected their in-panel equipment to iPads, which we see glued to the hands of about half the pilots here at Oshkosh. Here's Aspen's Brad Hayden to tell us more. The adoption of personal devices like the iPad loaded with aviation and applications coming into the GA cockpit has been phenomenal. Their use has been limited by the fact that they're not connected to the certified avionics that are installed into the panel. Aspen's built a product called Connected Panel that is in effect a wireless gateway between the personal devices brought into the cockpit and the certified avionics. This allows the data to transfer back and forth between the iPad device and the certified avionics installed in the panel. This is the connected panel concept. I've got a flight plan loaded on our Aspen Partner for Flight application here on the iPad. So I'm going to show I can load this flight plan into the Aspen unit and eventually into the KSN GPS navigation unit. So as you can see, I've got a flight plan loaded. I connect Send to, and Aspen Connected shows up. So I press that, and the flight plan arrives on the Aspen MFD-1000 for preview. As I select the flight plan, I can preview the proposed flight plan and accept or reject. When I hit accept, the flight plan will be transferred automatically into the KSN 770 from Bendix King by Honeywell. In addition, if you update the flight plan on the KSN, we can read the flight plan back out to the iPad. Now I want to load a frequency from my iPad directly into the KSN standby frequency. If I select the Aspen icon, I can select the frequency and it's loaded into the standby frequency on the KSN. This demonstration uses Wi-Fi for the iPad, but the gateway is also capable of accepting through USB and Bluetooth. The power of the connected panel system is the fact that it's an open architecture. We're going to build it for iOS environments, for Android environments, allowing hardware and software developers to come up with applications that will work on the iPad or on the Android tablets that people haven't even thought of yet. Right now we're doing flight planning. They're great flight planning applications. People are going to come up with ideas that we can't even dream of at the moment that will work on the connected panel system. And that's really what the exciting piece of this technology is all about.